So how many people here, can I get a show of hands, like develop software that targets Windows? All right. Um, like how many people that just raised their hand also develop software that does not target Windows? Good. So hopefully that you'll find this interesting. So, um, well, first let's look at my direct. Can you, can you read the text? Is it like a good size? Okay, cool. So you can see that I only have a CPP file here and a couple of shell scripts. And I'm going to look at this CPP file. This is Windows code. Hopefully we can all agree that this is Windows code. Um, <laughs> um, and as you can see, I'm not on a Windows machine. I'm on, you know, it's Linux. Um, and so I have this shell script here, which you can see runs Clang CL and LLD link. Um, and I'm just going to run this shell script. See if I can do this. Okay, it did something. Um, so, okay, you can see now there's an exe file, an obj file, and a pdb file, which are usually Windows programs. Um, and if I run this command to see what they are, um, it says that, well, first of all, it says that clangcl and LLD link are elf executables. So there's no wine involved here, there's no like trickery. Like these are native Linux programs. And the files that it produced, a PE32 executable, um, a cough object file, and an MSVC program database. Um, so, let's see. And I also conveniently printed out MD5 sums of the files, which we can try to remember. I don't know, 82 FD, F0, F3. Um, so, <laughs> I'm gonna go over here to my Windows machine. This is actually my home machine. I'm connected through remote desktop. Um, and we can see code that looks pretty much the same. But let's make sure that we're actually doing the same thing. This one might be a little smaller. Um, hopefully we can still see this, but. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but the MD5 sum, it says 82FDB8, whatever. It's the same MD5 sum. Um, and we'll see the same thing if I If I, if I do it on the PDB, F0, F3, like that's what we just said. So I kind of just cheated here because I built the program on Linux, but I didn't copy the files over. But I don't know if anybody noticed that I kind of pulled a fast one here. I just demonstrated that we have build determinism because these files were already here and I just built it and they have the same MD5 sum. So that's, I don't know, I think it's a good feature. Um, so I'm gonna hit F5 and see what happens. Well, first, let's see. Okay, I have a breakpoint, so I'm gonna hit F5. Or maybe I'm not. I don't know what that's doing. All right, let's, let's try it a different way. Start debugging. Oh, nice. This is going well. Okay, here we go. So, I don't know if you can see this, but we have like, we have local variables, we have watch window and stuff. There's, there's real stuff in here. Um, you know, I can step over, I can do everything. So this is like, it's a real Windows program. It's got a real PDB file. Um, and I built this on Linux. Um, and I can debug it in Visual Studio. And this is something that until recently has not been possible. Um, that's one of the things we worked hard on is making Clang work on Windows, well, work cross-platform. We can do cross-builds. Um, but there's other reasons that you might want to use Clang. Um, we get faster link times if you use LLD. Um, and when I mean faster, I mean like a literal order of magnitude faster. Um, like I know when we built, we built this for Chrome, and Chrome was originally taking up to five minutes to link like blink core.dll. With LLD, it takes about 30 seconds um, using the same switches. Um, Clang CL, it's drop-in compatible with CL.exe. So if you look at my, if you look at my build script, you can see I'm running Clang CL, but these are MSVC command line options. Um, slash Z7, slash C, uh, my LD link command line looks exactly like a link.exe command line. Slash debug full, default lib, sub subsystem windows. Um, so this is literally, you can just drop the executable on your machine and it just works. Um, so why did we do this? Like I mentioned, faster link times. It's nice to have one tool chain on all your platforms, one build system, simplifies configuration management. Um, and it's open source. We can turn around and we can make changes to the compiler in a week, where it used to take a year. I mean, obviously Microsoft has gotten better about releasing fixes 
more rapidly now, but it used to take a year or two to get compiler fixes, and now we can turn that around in like a week. Um, real world users of Clang and LLD, obviously Chrome is shipping. Like if you're using Chrome today, it's built with Clang and it's linked with LLD. Um, Firefox is shipping with... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs>